Hello guys and welcome back. This is Deja with Twisted Sisters Mojo and today I am bringing you a tarot flip through of the black and gold edition of the Rider Waite Tarot. Um, this is a really really super cool deck. The box is amazing. It really does have kind of like this really high-end uh, luxurious feel to it. And the reason I got this deck is because if anybody knows me, they know I adore gilded decks. They are just, I'm like a crow that way. I absolutely love decks that have gilding on them. Um, this one is put out by Los Garabeo. Now, this is a bit of a pricey deck. I think the price point on this deck is, let me get it in here, $39.95. But, yeah, it, so this is one of your pricier decks, but it really is just super, super nice. So let's get into the cards, and we will actually look at the book later. All right, so the card stock, good size for shuffling. Um, we've got, all right, so tarot, black and gold edition. I'm not real, eh. I kind of like iffy on the back, you know, I could have, I think they could have done something a little, I don't know, maybe a little more elegant, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do this pretty quick because most of us have seen the Rider Waite edition, um, but I really just wanted to kind of show you how it looks with the gilding. Now, the one problem that you are going to run into if you use any deck that has gilding on the card itself is that through regular use you are going to run into the fact that the gilding is going to wear off you cannot avoid it it just happens with um, a lot of use it, it's just it is what it is um, so if you are someone that reads tarot professionally um, like I do, you can pretty much count on the gilding to wear off after a while. And this is one of those decks that's a little pricier. So getting like a deck as, um, one deck for use and one deck for your collection, eh, you're talking about a hundred bucks here, you know, close to a hundred bucks for two tarot decks. So it may not be worth it in the long run. So I got this one just to add to my collection. Um, like I said, because I just do absolutely love any cards that have gilding on them. Now, the edges of these cards are not gilded. So, but the cards themselves have the gold. So, let's go ahead and just kind of get flipping through these. Excuse my big old thumb in the way. Now these are borderless cards, which some of you may or may not like. Uh, borders, non-borders doesn't really uh, matter to me. Now the one problem I can see as I am flipping through these cards is because of the gilding and the way the card is designed, some of the details kind of get a little bit lost without, um, without the color. And some of the detail is a little bit, uh, what's the word lost? Yeah, that's a good word. Some of the detail is lost within the imagery itself. But, like I said, I got this primarily as um, an addition to my collection. So, I'm not really too concerned about it. As I'm not going to be using it to read. You gotta wonder if Arthur, uh, if Arthur, uh, Waite 
ever imagined in his wildest dreams that his deck design would become a standard in the tarot community. All right, and we're going. We're flipping through. Do, 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 do. There we go. We're back in wands. Swords. All right, guys. Here we go. We are coming up on the end. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what you were looking at if you were thinking about picking up this deck. And Masters of the Gold Foil Tarot. So I'm guessing that these are all tarot decks that are gilded with gold foil. All right, so let's take a quick look at Das Bookus. All right, Black and Gold Tarot, Insights into the Major Arcana by Mary Kay Greer. Looks like it's pretty standard explanations. That cups, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. Okay, so it is in several different, or a few different languages. This is the English. So... Really not that deep of a comprehensive. Looks like the rest of it is just other language interpretation. And so that pretty much covers that. Uh, this has been the black and gold edition of the Rider Waite, Arthur Edward Waite, Pamela Coleman Smith, and Insights into the Arcana by Mary Kay Greer. Published by Lois Garibale. All right, guys, this has been Deja with Twisted Sisters Mojo. I hope you guys are out there having a wonderful, wonderful week and a blessed, blessed day.